So hi everybody, today in this video we'll be making the Pong game. Pong game is a really old game, I think you should know what it is by now. Pong game is a really old game, and it's invented in, in the early 1950s when the first video games came out. And um, yeah, it's really popular back then and everyone enjoyed it. But these days we don't really enjoy it that much. It's We think it's pretty cheap and not that fun, but these days we have all these things called like Minecraft and so yeah. So the spirits we need is a ball and a paddle. I think you know, you should know by now how to get those. You just search up P-A-D-L. You can just go here and search in and we need a paddle and a ball and we will be making a spirit. The spirit we'll be making is called a red line. So as you saw in my game, there's a red line. So that is what the line is. We'll be making a red line. Yes, that's perfect. It doesn't matter how straight it is. Unless you can see it. I think I can adjust it. I don't know how I need it. So, okay. So now we can uh, get on with the code. So the code that we'll be needing today. So as you see, the ball has the most code. The paddle. Let's just do the paddle real quick. This is something we can do really easily in our own heads. Forever. Set X to and then we go to sensing. No way, where is that? Mouse X, mouse X. Oh you kidding me. Where did I get that even? Yeah, I got it in sensing only. It's in sensing. Yes. I just scroll down. So what the mouse X does is that I think we never used this before. So I I'll explain what the mouse X is. So the mouse X allows you to um drag it. Anywhere you want around the X coordinate. So the X coordinate is this way. I can't go here or here or here, okay? I have to be only in the X coordinate. And that's what the Pong game is mainly about. We can't just go all over the place. We have to stay around the X coordinate. Because if I were to change it to the Y coordinate, I think you can still do it like in the Y coordinate. If I go in the Y coordinate. Yeah, it doesn't it won't really work. It won't give you the flexibility. So that's why we're doing the X-Cornet because our, our game is happening by the x coordinate. I hope that's clear. So the ball. Let's start way out here. So the first thing we'll be doing, the first set of code is when click, wait 0 0.5 seconds. Reason why is because this is going to go kind of fast. Because um, we don't want to go too slow or else it's not going to be fun. Actually, I understand that this is one of the games that you would have seen all over the place. I just, I, that's why I didn't do this the first game. To be honest, this was one of my first game I made. And you might be wondering why I didn't do it before. So, I didn't do it before because every single person, if you search the game Pong game on the internet right now on the Google, on YouTube, you'll see like a bazillion people with the same exact thing. There's so many different ways to do this, guys, but this is just one of my ways of doing it. So... Okay, whatever color you have, put if you have a black line, put a black. Since I have a red line, I'm putting a red, black, red. So yeah, there's so many ways to do this. And yes, we need our scoreboard. So that's what I was thinking, but I just feel like doing it because it's pretty popular and really common that everyone does in Scratch. Like everyone has this kind of game everywhere. In case you don't know how to do it, I guess. So after the ball comes to the, uh, touches the line, a red line, you know what, let's just name this a red line. You know, we can name it, name it. When the ball touches the red line, it will, the whole score will send to zero. That's the game. That's what I'm going to do. I don't know about you, but I'm going to set that way out here. Next is one click. This is set score. Actually, this has to be not variable, but set score. This can't be a variable. Why? It's because it won't make sense. We didn't name our thing variable. That would be weird. But we named it score. Here I made a scoreboard. Mm -hmm. It's still the same thing, but okay. 
Okay, so next thing we'll be doing is what we'll be doing is we'll be directing the ball where to go because we have to make the ball bounce and uh, there's some certain coordinate on how we're exactly we're going to do that. We're going to go this, go X, go Y. This is zero. This is minus or it's positive. 160. I'm gonna go just a little bit faster. Forever. Change color effect by 20. Five, I think. So this is something that we used in uh, the witch game. If you if you watch my witch game, I would highly recommend you watch that. But uh, this is what we did. We made the frog change color. So what I did was different. Was that I wanted to make the ball change color instead of having the same color. So by doing that, I ch if you click this, see it changed colors. Okay, we're not gonna stop that. Which I felt was quite, because instead of like having the same plain color, why can you not change the color? So that's what I did. If on edge bounce, so the Evan, if on bend, edge bounce is mainly the whole key of this game. The ball is not going to stick on the wall, it's going to bounce all over the place because of that. Yeah, this is what your game should be look like. We still have more code to do, which is why it's not bouncing off. So that's the part of thing we have to do. Okay. This is the next code. We're gonna set that aside. This is where we're gonna do it. One click to attach the box forever. If Touching paddle. So yeah, as you've been, if you were watching, if you have you been, if you have been doing coding for a long time, you would have realized that when we do the code, it makes a sentence, right? I think that's really thick. one click forever. If I if touching paddle, then it's like a sentence. Then turn ninety degrees, fifteen. Degrees, turn right. Right. Turn right degrees. It's not 15 degrees, so we go to our operators. I think it's a uh, pick random, right? Yeah, pick random two. So this is what we need. That's we need pick random two, 170 to one. So this is gonna direct our ball where to go in degrees. We can, so we are letting the ball choose from those two degrees. And then change scoreboard to by one. Wait 15 steps. Move 15 steps. As you see, everything is on 15 steps and not 10 steps. Wait 0 0.5 seconds. So, with all of that, yeah, we're done with the ball actually. Let's see. Yeah, our game is almost done. So here's the little extra part that I'm going to show you. And I think it should, you, this is optional, 100% optional. Like we're going to put a you win sign. And I don't know, you can, you, this is completely optional, but I'm going to do it to show you guys. So how you make a sign is, um, the sign will be you win. This is all your choice. This is something you don't have to do, but I'm going to do it. It has to be outstanding. You can change fonts. Let's see. I think there's a font. Custom. Custom. Yes, this is the font. So you don't go here, but you go here. The text, like uh, like Google Docs, you can change your font. I'm gonna do. Uh, I did pixel. Mm, I don't know. There's, there's mm, marker. Yeah, that looks ridiculous. I'm gonna do pixel though. That's best. I don't like any of these. You win. Make it big, I guess. You may want outstanding. You win. Okay, that's our thing. Now we have to add a little bit code to it. 
which is you put one click. This is where you get to choose what your score, how much points you want in your game. So most likely I usually do 10 so I can just show you easily. But you can you're most welcome to change it. You don't have to do whatever I do kind of for these for the small small things like the UN sign and all that. You can just do whatever you want. Equal. Put that there. You get that little score thing right here. So wait until score equals to I'm gonna do 10. You can do 50 if you want to play for a long time, but you may wanna wanna do that. Show. So this is our thing. So if I click this, after we make 10 points, we'll have our thing done. Watch. Unless I don't make it go on the red line. Yeah, I'm gonna get it. See? You win. And then it resets the score for you. How handy. So this is the game that I'm going to do. It might not be the best game, but... So yeah. I'll guess see you guys next time.